little bit outside. Come here, open that corner. Wow, was, wow. <laughs> So that wasn't good. <laughs> hey, I'm Yon Barini, and this is my freezing lap. What, what? It's minus 60 further in here. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do it properly. Hey, I'm Yon Barini, this is my pink bike hot lap, and wow, I'm on fire today! So I have a 180 millimeter Lyric at the front with two tokens inside and uh, 85 PSI. My rear suspension, so I have a coil and with a 425 spring from uh, Super Idol Racing. <laughs> and it's kind of pretty soft because I'm riding with flat pedals now, the, the Samil, uh, the Sa how do you say, the Samil trend. <laughs> Rebound is pretty slow front and rear. The uh, reason why the rear is pretty slow is because of the flat pedals. Like I don't have, I don't want to have my feet kind of moving like that all the time. So rebound slow. Tires, I have two, uh, two Hutchinson Toro in 2.35 with like 27 on the rear and 24 PSI in the front. But the most important thing, let me show you my secret weapon. It's my... Ta-da! Super Brini underwear! That gives me luck and everybody needs it. <laughs> and I have a Huck Norris in the rear. Uh, the ground is frozen. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting. We're going to see that during the track walk practice run. Yeah, the track is a proper indoor track. We have some really technical part at the top, some kind of switchbacky, burmy stuff in the middle, and a really physical part at the at the bottom. So um, we finished the season five weeks ago. So I had a big break and uh, starting riding just today, just like that. I had a couple of rides before that. But it's going to be interesting for me to uh, be kind in a race mode today after a big break, just to see uh, if I'm not that rusty and to see if uh, everything kind of works correctly again. And it's going to be a good test to compare myself with uh, Remy's hot lap that he did in uh, August, just before Crankworks. So the start is just up there. You have this like left corner here with a big chunk of ice here. It's kind of slippery. Then you have this tiny uphill with some roots. So there's a, a few line choices here. You can take the inside here, which is kind of shitty because you kind of end up by doing a 90 degrees corner before a climb. And the goal here would be to carry as much speed as you can to uh, go uphill pretty fast. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to come around the corner here, open, open here, kind of pre-up that thing here, push a little bit, and then pre-jump, and then push, and then pedal in the climb, and then shoo, and then carry on. And you don't want to be outside because you will be an idiot if you go outside, so you come inside here. But before that, I think to jump in there properly, my line, the secret one, I'm going to come here, and then open that thing a little bit here, kind of there, until where my rear wheel is here, whop, and then drop down there, kind of corner here. Don't take that jump because I don't think it's going to work with my uh, 780 and the bar. So I'm going to be here and then shot that, boom, corner. I'm coming here, opening that corner there, and then my secret line in the grass, dropping down there, ta 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 Woo -hoo! and pedal, Woo! There is an obvious French line here. <laughs> <laughs> the trail is going on the left side of the tree. The French line is going through the bushes here. But because we're in BC, we respect the trail. And you should do actually the same everywhere in the world. You stay on the trail. F hell. It's enough. There we go here. Exit that corner and then up that there. And jump that. And then woohoo! And then. Use that berm to corner, jump, up, woohoo! But the natural way of the trail is gonna basically, you're gonna come around that down there, and then you're gonna drop that little step, and then another one, and it's gonna make you do a 90 degrees corner over there, and there's a little bit of flat after that. So, same thing as the top, you wanna carry some speed at the exit. Exit speed, that's what we want. I'm coming here, taking that corner here. And then I'm gonna break a little bit, whoa, and then carry some speed, 
Got a corner here. One pedal stroke. So basically after the little flat section that we were just talking about before, we're going to come here and there is an eye line here. So that's pretty obvious, you want to do that. But I don't think that it's really necessary to like smash that berm here because the corner is basically in two parts. So you want to be pretty light here, kind of land nicely and then you want to make your corner pretty fast down there. And then up, eye line, pretty light and then corner hard here. Corner. So you kind of come pretty fast down here and then you get into that right berm and there's a big chunk of ice over there so you want to be uh, right now you want to be really inside because if you are like 10 centimeters a little bit too much outside shoop, you're gonna eat and that's gonna be bad now we're gonna exit that uh, really icy corner and then there is a small straight line going into a left berm like pretty easy uh, pretty easy and it's actually a good line but what i see right now from here is that we could actually open that corner a little bit here in the moss Bap, coming here and then there is an inside line with a kind of a berm so it's made for something so we could go down there and then coming here here eating that berm here inside and then coming here, using that route as a berm as well, and then shoof. So let's see, I don't know if it works, but it's worth, uh, worth a try. Exiting here, opening that, coming down there. Well, let me try the normal line now. I see corner and I can pedal here. So that's actually good. Oh yeah. So I would say, that it's a little bit quicker and you put less effort into it. Opening that corner a little bit here, close to the tree, use that as a berm and then kind of drop here inside. Pretty straight, you come down here, down there, and then here I jump inside instead of going around that tree here. So I'm gonna come here, down there, and then use that route kind of up a little bit but it's not nothing crazy but if you take the normal line you're going to be around here and then do another corner here and, and coming here into a 90 degrees corner if you take the section from the top until over there like 100 meters down the trail that's going to be like a two second kind of kind of line come here corner here a little bit more late than before yeah it works roots here late over the roots, and then the corner. And I'm cooked. <laughs> I've got 3.28.75 and this is my hot lap time. I think I had a really good start and I was like definitely kind of burned at the end on the flat. So but that's I think because I'm just starting training again and that's that's normal. Well I think that I basically took all the lines that we said and that's why some of the EWS like when I can I do a track walk because dude like I've, I think I've ridden this trail like maybe five six times maybe a, a bit more but I never seen all this stuff and when you ride stuff you don't see everything but when you do like a little track work that like we did you can see oh I can be on the left side of that thing or here or here and then it makes such a big difference click here to subscribe to the pink bike channel or hit here to watch my full run or 
you can leave a comment or a like just right there. And then now, thank you so much guys. See you later. I'm going to shrine.